Hey guys, what is going on? It's Don here from Pandemic Playgrounds and I decided to make another Minecraft mod video. Now the last one actually did really, really good, which is installing virtual machines inside Minecraft. So if you want to check that video out, I will leave a link on the top right corner of this video. Now, uh, what we're going to be doing today is installing Optifine 1.16.1 onto our Minecraft. Now, Optifine is one of those mods that actually I use a lot of because it doesn't change the overall gameplay of the actual game, but it actually does a lot of performance boosts like FPS or add shaders into the game itself. So the first thing we're gonna do is head over to optifine.net and you can see that these are all the stuff that they add. You get FPS boost, uh, supports for HD textures, shaders, dynamic lighting. It, it's a lot of stuff that it's gonna take care of and it overall improves the gameplay without having to change the game. Now I'm gonna head over to download and if you don't see 1.16, what you wanna do is actually head over to preview version and then download the version for your client, which is 1.16 on my end. I'm gonna hit mirror and then click download preview, save the file. Now, one thing you're gonna notice is that this is a jar file. And if you don't see a little uh, coffee icon or uh, yeah, Java icon, it's not going to install because you don't have Java installed. So to get around that one, you can actually install Java, which I'm a little bit too lazy and I don't want to do. So what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to head over to, you see this Minecraft launcher icon. If you don't have that icon. Uh, you can always manually navigate to where Minecraft is. So I'm going to do right click and open folder location. Folder location is actually in C drive, program files, Minecraft launcher. Now, like I said, if you want to go there manually, I could just go over to C drive program files, Minecraft launcher, there we are. Now in here, we're gonna go into runtime, Java, and go into bin. Now this is actually where Java is held for your actual Minecraft game. And we're gonna be using this instead of having to download Java on its own because I don't wanna install any extra applications that I don't need to. Now to make your life a little bit easier, all you have to do is actually go over to your downloads folder, copy this over to this area so you don't have to type in the longest location now you don't have to i'm just going to do it on my own and you can see now it's in the same folder as the bin now to start this hold the shift on your keyboard right click and you're going to have this new option called open powershell window now in here it's going to actually look, open it in the folder that you are currently at and all we have to do is type out the command period backslash java dash jar and I think it's called preview optifine 1.6. There you go. And typed it all out, hit enter. And there we have it. Optifine has Java loaded with it. Now, next thing you need to do is just hit install. It's going to run all the stuff completely successful. And that is it. You got Optifine installed in your Minecraft without having to actually install Java. Now I'm going to open Minecraft launcher. And in here, you should see this new option called Optifine. See, that's the latest release, and then I got the Optifine release. And that is it. Now you have Optifine installed into your Minecraft without having to install Java. So yeah, uh, once you have it loaded, you could see that there's Minecraft, and it says mod it, head over to options. Uh, you could actually see, like, say, video settings. Now you have shaders, quality, performance, stuff like that to increase the gameplay or improve the gameplay of the actual game. And if you want to test it, you go into shaders and here you can actually just hit internal, load the shaders. There's actually other shaders you could download and load from here. But yeah, now it unlocks these options for you and you could just do what you want. Um, we could head into a game and see how it looks. So I'm going to go into new world. Maybe I should have created a world before this. All right. So there we have it, guys. It's working with Optifine. You can see it on the top left. I still got the vanilla gameplay. And if I want to improve like FPS and all that stuff, you can look into the options to see what you can do to actually increase the gameplay. Uh, that is it for us. Thanks for watching. If you guys are new to this channel, consider subscribing and I'll see you guys next time.